Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing well and using these last few weeks of summer here to get out there and make some movies. I wanted to share a few thoughts today on a topic that's been on my mind uh, for a while, and that's acting in our own films. I should say up front, you know, I come to this from the perspective of somebody who both makes films and also acts in my own films. And I thought to kind of get into this, I'd like to start with a little story. So a couple of years ago, I attended a screening, a local screening series where filmmakers could bring um, short films, you know, that they had either just finished or were still works in progress and screen them for a small group of other, you know, interested people and get some feedback on the films. Now, when mine, uh, when mine came up, actually mine was the first film on the program, uh, there was a technical issue with the sound. So while we were, uh, so the film starts, let me just, let me just set this up real quick. So the, the film is a short thriller that I made called Unknown Number. And I also play the lead role in this movie. So in the very first shot of the film, I'm walking towards the camera. So the film starts up and instantly we realize, oh, there's a, there's a technical problem with the sound. We have to, we have to pause the film. So it's paused on this image, this opening image of me walking towards the camera. Now, the host of the series, uh, in order to sort of fill the time, the host of the series, you know, commented on the fact that I was acting in my own film and then um, took the opportunity to talk a little bit about this idea. And I have to say, took a kind of negative view, uh, sort of a discouraging view of the idea of acting in your own movies. And I sort of resented it because, you know, I'm sitting there, with, with the movie, you know, hasn't even, people haven't even had a chance to watch it yet, and I worried that these kinds of comments would sour the audience on what they were about to see. Now, after it was over, the host asked me if I act in my own films out of necessity or whether I, you know, I want to be acting in them, if I want to be in front of the camera. And I think at the time I kind of muttered something about, well, I do it mostly out of necessity because I really don't have anyone else to work with. And, you know, I just have to do what I can and to get the movie made and, and do whatever, whatever it takes. And if that means stepping in front of the camera, then so be it. I have to do that. But the more that I thought about this question and my reaction that night, I realized that over the years, I think I've kind of felt the need to justify my decision to act in my own movies and even to some extent to apologize for my decision to act in my own movies. And I said, you know, this is really isn't being fair to myself because I really do enjoy a acting. Uh, it, it's part of the filmmaking process that I actually enjoy most of all, stepping in front of the camera. And if you've only seen the film of mine that I've posted here on this YouTube channel, um, uh, WFH, that's a, that's a slightly different kind of... Uh, project for me than a lot of what I've done over the years. And so if you've only seen that, you know, because you, you aren't aware that I, I've done films that are like in a lot of short films, I mean, that are in a lot of different genres and where, where I've played a lot of different types of characters. And I enjoy that. Um, in fact, when I was for, for the, you know, for a few years when I was living in New York, a lot of the films that I made there were what I described as character studies because they were they were short films that were crafted around uh, a, a character and, and looking at a, a specific character uh, things like um, you know I played the, the traveling salesman in the salesman and even played a hitman in, in this short film mercenary that I did a few years ago and these are just a couple of examples of these different types of characters that I would write and do you know kind of build a film around as like a little character study so I've, you know, I've been acting in my own movies since I was the very first one when I was a kid, you know, making movies with a family camcorder like I've talked about before. And, you know, I was thinking about it. It, it did largely start out from necessity. I mean, I didn't really have anyone else to work with or to call on to be in the movies. I mean, I, there was my brother and sister, but, you know, I also had to step in and, and play different roles. And, you know, the funny thing is I... I when I was really young, I always enjoyed playing villains. I always loved playing the villain in a movie. I always thought that was the most interesting character. You know, I loved in Disney films, for example, the villain were always the most kind of colorful and interesting characters to me. And I, 
I think to a large extent, when I started acting in my own movies, those were the characters I most enjoyed playing, just because I felt like there was the most that I could do with it. Now, obviously, my, my views of acting uh, have, you know, changed a lot o o <laughs> since then. Um, I, I have a, a great deal of respect for, you know, what actors bring to projects. I've been fortunate to work with friends who um, have stepped, uh, you know, in, in years past, I've been work for, very fortunate to work with friends who um, stepped in and acted for me. And, you know, I really appreciate, even if they weren't, um, you know, trained or professional actors, just willing to do it to, to help me out, you know, have have the experience of working in a, in a movie, I guess. Um, you know, I really do appreciate that, and I really appreciate what they brought to the project. But, um, you know, as somebody who usually has to make films entirely on my own, acting you know, it walks this, it kind of walks a line between being a necessity and being something that I enjoy doing. Now, are there times that I would like to put somebody else in, in the, in the film? Of course. Um, of course there, there are times that I wish I either had other people to work with or, um, you know, could, could even cast somebody else in, in the part. But at the same time, you know, I, I do enjoy it. So I don't see it as something that I, you know, go out of my way, to, you know, I wouldn't go out of my way to avoid it or anything. Now, I have talked to other filmmakers who act in their films out of necessity and who don't enjoy it, who don't enjoy being in front of the camera. So that, you know, that is another, uh, that, that exists too, of course. One of the things that's really struck me in looking at a lot of the self-described folk films uh, here on YouTube are that a lot of the filmmakers, a lot of us, also act in our own movies. And I would be curious, I'm kind of putting this question out there, do you, um, if, you're, if you are a filmmaker who acts in your own films, do you do it out of necessity or do you enjoy acting? Or is it perhaps a little bit of both? And, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, counter arguments to be made against doing this. And I've heard, you know, quite a few and I understand where people are coming from and, um, I think there's a lot of validity to that, and I, I'm not uh, disagreeing. But I would say that if, if it comes down to, you know, this is how you can get your movie made, uh, if you're just, you know, having issues finding other people who, for whatever reason, uh, you, you can't find other people interested in working on the film, um, you know, I, I think it, above all, you have to be resourceful. And you don't want to compromise, I understand, you don't, you don't want to compromise the quality of your project by casting inappropriately or anything like that. And, you know, I think there, again, I understand there's plenty of arguments about uh, not putting yourself in the movie or whatever. I, I, I'm not uh, disagreeing with any of that. But at the same time, I think if you do enjoy acting in your own films and it's a skill that you want to build and continue to... Um, you know, em employ as part of the filmmaking process. I I don't think that uh, there's anything wrong with that. I, I think it's it's like any other aspect of filmmaking. If you want to learn it and pursue it and uh, take on that part of the process, and it's right for the project, then I you know I don't really see the problem with that. Um, you know, I'll just I'll just add real quick. Uh, as far as the movies that I've been making recently, both you know WFH and um, the one Endless August that I just completed, I've found that by acting, um, well, I, I should say that they're they're in many ways more personal films for me, and so that acting in them myself feels appropriate. You know, feels right for the project. Anyway, I'd be curious to hear some of the thoughts on this. Like I said, I, I know this is a topic that can get some very divided reactions. And um, I, I do, like I said, I, I really do respect all the arguments um, about, you know, maybe why you shouldn't necessarily just act in your own films. Um, but at the same time, I'd really be interested to hear from people who do act in their own films and uh, like I asked earlier, do you see it as something you do out of necessity 
or do you see it as another part of the filmmaking process that you enjoy? And uh, anyway, please leave your uh, comments in the, uh, or your, your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And I look forward to hearing what everyone has to say. Thanks for watching this video, and I will talk to you later.